Hey, so today we're gonna play with screen transitions. As usual, I'm starting with an iPhone screen and filling it with a dark gradient. I already have the movie posters prepared for this, so you can just copy any images that you like from the internet. And for the gradient, I'm picking the darker shades of one of the posters, so it's gonna be consistent with them. I'm placing the posters onto the artboard and making sure they're right in the center and that they have enough spacing on each side. I'm adding in a screen title and again you can use your own fonts for this. Of course the screen title also has to be centered on the top part of the screen. Make sure all the posters have the same padding on each side. You can hide the layer for the second poster right now and we can start adding the movie descriptions and titles. I'm adding a standard movie title, subtitle, categories and a description. I'm also pasting in an icon for back. Then I duplicate the screen title, move it to the right and call it movie. I'm pasting in a star rating and running time and placing them under the description. I place every content section in a group and then I group them all together. Naming the groups will make it a lot easier to animate them later, because you won't have to be looking for any specific layer but you'll be able to find them by name. Now let's move the entire description under the screen and decrease the opacity to zero. I'm bringing back the second poster again and renaming our screen to screen1. Now we can start the animation, so I'm duplicating the first screen, moving the first poster to the top and making it a lot larger, and then moving the second poster outside of the screen on the bottom. Now let's find our movie description, so I'm bringing it back up and increasing the opacity to 100%. So as you can see, our text on the top of the screen is completely invisible on that background. I'm making a rectangle and filling it with a dark gradient that comes down to a full transparency. The gradient doesn't have to be black. You can pick a dark shade from the posters and then simply move the rectangle to the top of the screen. I'm naming the rectangle overlay and pasting it to the first screen, but making sure it's a lot smaller on that screen, so I'm decreasing the height of the rectangle to almost fit in the very top section of the screen. Now on the first screen I decrease both the opacity of the back arrow to zero and of the text on the right side. Now let's rearrange the second screen, so moving the old title down and moving the right title from the right to the center. I'm picking the first poster on the first screen and adding an interaction to it. As the target I'm setting the second artboard which is called screen 2, the preset is motion and the duration is gonna be 3 seconds so you can see the animation nicely. Now on the second screen, connect an interaction to the back arrow and simply point it to the first screen. We want our covers to scroll, so I'm increasing the height of the first screen. And of course making the dark gradient in the background higher as well. Now let's test our animation. So as you can see, the covers are scrolling nicely, and when you tap on the first one it enlarges and changes into the second screen. The animation looks nice, but it is a little bit boring, so we can work on that still. Also, the second screen title looks a little bit faded while it's animating in. That's because it's on a lower layer than our overlay, so we need to fix this on the layer palette. So I go to the first screen and drag down the overlayer layer on the layer list. And as you can see the title animation looks much better now. To make it less boring I select the first poster and I click on edit timeline. Now I decrease the length of the second poster timeline so it will disappear from the screen faster. Now I decrease the length and change the starting position for every element for a content block here. The white background comes from the fact that we didn't expand the rectangle with the background on the second screen. So I go back there, select the background and just expand it down. Now back to the timelines. As you can see the description text is just starting a little bit too late and it overlaps the rest of the text. So I change its starting point to begin sooner. Now when we play the animation you can see that the content block assembles itself nicely. Now for the second screen I create a play button. It's simply a circle with a triangle inside. To create a triangle, you can create a square, then select it, press enter, and then simply click on just one edge and remove it. I also adjust the triangle by dragging its corners towards the center so it's more uniform. I change the triangle color to white and the circle color to black with just a little bit of transparency. I put it in the center, I name the layer group play and then I paste it to the second image. Now, on the first image, I make it a lot smaller and decrease the opacity to zero. Now when we play the animation, it looks a lot better, a lot more natural. Of course, it's still pretty slow and a real animation should be a lot faster so it's not annoying to your users, but it's really good to have them slow for the animating process to be more precise and that you can actually see what you're doing. 
So there you have it, another nice and very simple to do transition effect. Hope you liked it and please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. See ya!